Hello there, this is Kush Sharma from Creative Pad Media. In this tutorial, I will be showing you how you can swap faces using three different AI tools. So we'll get a chance to see which one works the best. Two of these are gonna be free, which is faceswapper.ai. Not entirely free, but when you do create an account, you're gonna get 10 credits. That means you can use this feature 10 times. By the way, this tool also has a clothes swapping feature for which I made a separate video a while back. The link is on top, you can watch it later. The second tool that we're gonna be using for face swapping is Remaker AI. This gives you around 30 credits. So up to a certain extent, it's free. The one that is not free, but in my opinion works the best is this face swapping tool by Akool or Akool. I don't know how to exactly pronounce this, but we're gonna also be seeing this. The images have been given to you. These are the two images. So the face image will be of Lionel Messi and the target image is gonna be of the Superman image. So let's get started with the first tool, which is uh, Face Swapper. And also, by the way, we're also gonna be learning about the deficiencies in the outputs that we get and how we can actually use Photoshop later on to slightly correct those, okay? So, uh, and that to the AI tools in Photoshop. But anyway, let's get started. So let's add uh, the images here. So this is gonna be the face image. So let's uh, add the messy image here. So here we have this image. Let's add the Superman image as the target image. And then all you have to do is just hit start face swapping. By the time this is going on, let's go on to Remaker so that we can just save time. Let's do the same thing. Here is the opposite. They ask for the target image first. So let's upload Superman um, and Messi here. And then we are gonna utilize one credit as you can see here. Let's do this. Let's also do it for this one by the time those two are happening. So here. Again, we have to choose our Superman image first. By the way, the links are given in the description for all the tools. So we will be using the Superman image here. And then you'll also at this point of time, if you're not logged in, it'll basically ask you to create an account. Okay, in this case, I was already logged in. I had created an account. Creating an account is free. You don't have to really pay uh, for anything right now. And it's once you have logged in, it's after you upload this image, you, it's gonna directly take you to this interface where you add the face. So you can see here, I have to click plus and then add Messi's image. I already have it here, so I don't need to add it right now. I just need to select it and it's gonna come here. And in this, you can also play around with these sliders. Uh, you can kind of, you know, play around with the age uh, of uh, the output that you get. Right now, I'm just keeping it at zero, just so that we can have a fair comparison. And this also has a face enhance feature, but with that's only available in the Pro, so we won't be able to use that at all. And all then you have to do is just click on this, and this immediately gets done. The moment I click on my library, this uh, result will be here for us. But first of all, let's go back to the first one. So you can see here, we've got the result, and this doesn't look too bad. You can see, yeah, it has got that uh, those messy features inside the shot, so not bad. So this was face swapper. Let's check out Remaker. And you can see here, this is also kind of similar to this. Okay, we'll just also be downloading this and getting a slightly zoomed in look. And here I have to just go to my library. And you can see I've actually done this couple of times with different images, but this is what we've got. And in my opinion, this one, the paid one tool, it works the best. Now, of course, if we have to download this and really use it, then We'll have to just deal with the watermarks, which obviously are gonna go away if you pay for this tool. But according to me, this just does the best job. Now, one of the deficiencies here in these tools is, now before I talk about that, let's just quickly at least get a zoomed in look of all the three images. All right, so we have the three images here. Let's check face swapper first. Let's open this up and zoom in. And you can see this looks like this. Let's open up Remaker. And it's pretty similar. Just kind of messed up this jawline here, okay? Uh, otherwise, it's pretty similar to what we got with face swap. And this is finally uh, a cool or a cool. And here, if you zoom in, yeah. This, you can see, looks really different. And it just looks much more cleaner. But this is fine. But one of the problems here is, and why it doesn't look too much like Messi, is that obviously they don't change the hair. In my opinion, that is a problem. I think if you're trying to swap the face, you would also like to take in the hairstyle. And this is where currently we can use the Photoshop AI tool. So this is something that I wanna show you. And the feature that I wanna show you is actually only available in Photoshop beta. So this here is the normal Photoshop, but if you have subscribed to Photoshop, 
uh, creative cloud plan, you can also get access to Photoshop beta. Photoshop beta is exactly like Photoshop. It's just an app where the new features are tested. And one of those new features is uh, that you can actually give, uh, while using generative fill in the AI tool that Photoshop has, you can actually give a reference image. So we can actually tell Photoshop that, okay, we've got this particular image, but you know what? We are giving you a reference image of Messi's headshot. We want you to take the hairstyle from that and incorporate into uh, it into this image, okay? So I've given the link. If you don't have this Photoshop beta with you, uh, you can get a seven day trial of the photography plan that the Adobe people, sorry, uh, offer you. So you can download Creative Cloud app and get a seven day free trial of Photoshop. So you'll be able to download uh, Photoshop beta also from Creative Cloud app, okay? I already have it installed. So I'm just gonna open this up. So let me open up that image. So since this image had watermarks, and I think out of these two, Remaker and Face Swapper, Face Swapper did a better job. So let's choose the Face Swapper image for this. So you can see here, we've been able to do this and now is the time what we can do is if i just make a selection around the hair okay so i can just like do something like this a little rough selection i'm just using the lasso tool here and slightly give it a gap because it's going to introduce new hair so then we get this generative fill feature for which i have a lot of videos on my youtube channel you can check it out and now if i hit this in Photoshop beta, we get this icon here, which we don't get in normal Photoshop. This is still under testing, which is the reference image option. I'm gonna hit this and give it a reference of that uh, messy shot. So this shot. So now it's got this, it's got a reference. And now I can say, change hair. So otherwise, if I just say change hair in the normal Photoshop and there's no reference image, it can, generative fill can produce anything. But now that, We've given this, it's actually gonna see this image, that okay, the hair from this image and generate something similar. So let's hope that it works out. So let's just wait for it to render. All right, you can see the results here. And I think this now starts to look closer to what we had in the messy headshot. We get three different variations. I think this one looks really nice and real also, right? I think this is absolutely perfect. Now, one thing to note about generative fill, it will give you a uh, something that is may not match the resolution of the original image. But anyway, this was a very downscaled image because when you use free tools like Face Swapper and the free versions, they are gonna reduce the quality of the image. They're gonna downscale the image, but that's no problem. You can export this image and use one of the free, uh, any one of the free upscaling tools that are available on the internet to just increase the resolution. But that's how you swap the faces. If you're someone you're really interested in learning about the AI inside Photoshop, then I've got a very detailed course called Photoshop Generative AI Editing Masterclass because ultimately I still feel nothing out there really beats the Photoshop AI tools, especially when it comes to image editing, if not image generation. But if you wanna check that out, the course link will be given in the description. It's available via Udemy. I hope that you like this video. In case you did, give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye for now.